Hello friends, today we will see one more problem on the grade and bearing of line. So here problem is complete the projection of line PQ if its bearing with respect to P is a south 60 east second its grade with respect to P is positive 50% then point third its true length is 680 millimeter and point four point P is 10 millimeter from both the reference plane so this is the problem from the problem we will write given here we have already written that is given first the given line is line PQ then bearing is equal to south 60 east then grade 50% so I already write, write here 50% it means 50 divided by 100 50 in the y direction and 100 in the x direction then true length is equal to 80 millimeter and point P is 10 millimeter from HP and VP. Now we will draw given here like this. So this one is the drawing of a given only. <coughs> so plotting this given as it is. So we have solved problem 50% here. If you plot given correctly, so here point A 10 millimeter above the HP and 10 millimeter in front of the VP and given notation AF and AH. Then they provided grade. So we already know that how to take grade. So I have taken 10 millimeter or 100 millimeter in this direction. So this is X x direction and from this i have taken 50 so this is y and from this point i have drawn one line so this is the grade 50 percent some of students taking here it is locus it is actually wrong this is not locus this is only a point from which the true length passes so we will get grade it means we will get angle theta in this condition then they provided true length so i take distance of 80 millimeter in the compass and i mark that 80 millimeter here so this point is the locus of front view of locus B then they provided bearing now taking angle for bearing is very important if you put this protector like this and if I measure angle from this towards 60 so it is wrong so you have to put this protector like this from which line you have to take measurement you have to match this line with this zero zero line then take distance from this side south to east they provided south 60 east so 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 so here is the point and draw this line so we will get this is the pl this line is the pl now This is the true length. This one is the given we have plotted. We have not solved anything up till now. We have only plot the given. Now, how to solve the problem? As per the given here, we have true length in the front view and beta in the top view. So here it is very simple. We can we will get locus in the top view for that we will go 
from B of 1, we draw a straight line from B of 1 to the locus of point A. This is the locus of point A in the top view. After that, we will take this distance from AH to that line and we will connect here towards this direction so this is the cutting point this is the cutting point where we will get the locus of point B in the top view so this is the this point is B H and uh, this is the top view of locus B. Now we know that from the B H in if we draw straight line in upper direction we will get B F. So I will draw here straight line in the upward direction. So it is cutting to the locus of B in front view. This point is BF. Connect this AF to BF with the dark line. So this is the EL. This one is EL. Now to get true length in the top view. We have to rotate that elevation length. Up to this point. And from this point. <coughs> actually to that, this point there is a name. But. Uh, we have deleted that. At the time of. Learning. So draw here. Here this point is B H1. Connect this line with the faint line. Okay. Many of the lines I have drawn dark due to visibility problem. But you know well which line you have to draw dark, which line you have to draw faint. That part we have already covered. So this is the solution of this problem. Now you have to draw arrows for each line, two arrows for each line. If you come from BF1 to BH, so we have to draw one arrow in the front view and one arrow in the top view. Similarly, we came from elevation length to the true length in the, so this is one more arrow in the downward direction. This is the true length you have to show given also here so this is given this angle is given that is bearing that is south 60 east okay thank you